Hey, welcome to Big Happy Life, the show that's all about shaping your thoughts and actions so that life feels easier, you get more done, you feel more in control, and you have a bit more fun along the way. I'm your host, Natalie Britt, and for me, this is the most exciting episode I've recorded so far, because I know what this whole thing's about now. In episodes 1 through 14, I've been talking to you about things I hope you found interesting, things I certainly always have found interesting, but I didn't really know where I was going. There wasn't a central point that each episode was aiming towards. And you probably felt that in the way the topics kind of bounced around in different directions. But something really big has happened. At 1.09 this morning, I woke up and it was there. The answer. Big Happy Life is about creating flow. Imagine you're swimming in water where the tide gently flows alongside you, flows with you. And think about how much easier that swim is than when the water is still stagnant or flowing against you. In life, that flow is created by our habits. It's created by our habits of thought and our habits of action. If everything in our life is about our habits, then some of our habits are going to flow towards our goals and some of our habits are going to flow against them, which makes the swim that much harder. So Big Happy Life is about identifying and implementing the habits that create flow in the direction of your goals. If you're like me, you have worked damn hard to create the life you currently have. You feel like there's more, you know there's more, but you've worked so hard to get where you are that it's hard to imagine working any harder to move further forward. In the early hours of this morning, I finally understood it's not about working harder, it's about creating flow. It's about understanding what makes that water flow with you. What makes it easier? How do you need to think? What do you need to do? What do you need around you? And how do you recognize when to keep going and when to stop and evaluate? So from this episode forward, that is what Big Happy Life is going to help you do. Work out the habits of thought, the habits of action that are going to make your life flow So you don't have to swim so blooming hard to get where you want to go. The first and most important observation I've made through my own experience and my learning, particularly in this last week, is that it's better to think of yourself as a team than it is to think of yourself as an individual. And what I mean by that is, if you think about your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and your body, we think of those things as being all part of the same individual. But again, if you're anything like me, then those parts do a fair amount of fighting and they don't communicate particularly well with each other. And I don't know whether many of us stop to think about those things as separate entities with separate strengths in much the same way as we would team members at work. When you think about really high-performing teams in a workspace, you probably would think about people who respect each other, listen to each other, pay attention to each other's needs, help each other to do their best. I'd love to know what your experience is with this, but mine is... So when it comes to my conscious mind, my subconscious mind, and my body, whichever one is the strongest at the time is the one that wins out over the others, crushes the others. And I think about times I was at the gym and my body's going, stop, stop, that hurts. And I'm thinking, shut up, you're being lazy, keep going. See, this is why you're fat. And then I'd end up injured and not be able to go to the gym for a couple of weeks. Or I've felt upset at work or I've been upset at home about something, but I haven't said anything about it. Because another part of my mind goes, oh, for goodness sake, you're making such a big drama. Other people wouldn't make a big drama out of this. What's wrong with you? So this is what I mean. This is not the way we would treat a team member, at least not in teams that work really well together. And I think we treat ourselves this way because we fail to recognize that the different parts of us respond to different things in different ways. And we haven't really taken the time to investigate that. So when we start to get that discomfort rising from one part of ourselves that isn't happy, we shut it down, we squash it with whatever the other strongest part is at the time. And so it feels to me like the foundational piece has to be to stop and do a little bit of investigation, a little bit of self-discovery to understand what makes up Team U. And if we can bring genuine curiosity to that question and total acceptance, what would we find out? And how would we use that information to create some flow? I'm certain that the keys to almost every aspect of our lives lie in the answers to these questions. Because the minute we start shaping our internal landscape, we start creating flow of thoughts, of expression. We start changing the outcomes we have. We start changing our habitual behaviors. And we start creating new things in our lives. That's got to be the route to creating those big lives where you feel in control, you feel happy, your big happy life. But instead of swimming so hard to get it, 
you get the water flowing with you. You create a space where things work and you actually enjoy it. If that sounds like something you want to do, check out bighappylife.co.uk and register for the first webinar running in January, which is about Team U. What's involved? What's in there? And how do you respect it enough to bring out the best in all the parts of you so that you can think your best, you can do your best, and you can create that flow in your own life and get where you want to go? That address again, bighappylife.co.uk. Register for January's webinar. I'd love to have you on there. If you have any questions, post them on the page, email me, let me know, and I'll either answer them in the webinar or I'll contact you directly. That's it for this bonus episode. Thanks for listening.